All right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine, and Pipeliner CRM. And I'm here in lovely, sunny San Diego, as usual. And joining me from Lithuania, it's our first guest from Lithuania, so this is the first, is Rita's Lauris. How are you doing, Rita? Hey, John. Yeah, nice to be at your show and really pleased to be the first one from this country, <laughs> yeah, which yeah. is and not as which is not as sunny as San Diego, unfortunately, <laughs> currently, yeah. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Well, I'm originally from Dublin, Ireland, so I know this. Uh, so yeah. believe you me, when it comes to November, I know where I'd rather be. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, um, Rezus is the co-founder and CEO of OmniSend, an e-commerce uh, e marketing automation company. And today we wanted to talk about email marketing, right? Uh, this is a perennial subject. We're still all addicted to email marketing. Um, but is it working anymore? And in fact, is email marketing dead? What's, okay. your, what's your opinion? Some people have pronounced it dead. Is it dead? Yeah, it, it had been pronounced dead as like a decade or so. Uh, as yeah, as we, we launched our, our service like Omniscient uh, almost six years ago, yeah, a bit more than five years ago. And like at, at that time, everybody was pointing at me, come on, you were launching a startup in the data industry. I mean, mm -hmm. who cares about the email marketing? Everybody's in chat and then in chat bots, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be like full automated, like conversational think uh, conversational marketing, conversational commerce, but still really email remains the most effective channel for, for our customer retention, retention communication. Uh, that's, that's by far. Uh, another angle which is important and what we really advocate here and what I really advocate that email should be augmented by other channels to get the most of uh, direct communication and to, to, to perform the, the, the best uh, retention marketing with your existing customer base. So what do I mean by the channels? It's text messages, they are very effective, they are living their renaissance now. Uh, web push notifications, uh, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp messages, um, and yeah, so all those, all those channels which augment uh, your retention communication with your customers. Mm -hmm. So how does so how does a uh, how does a customer approach this? So say an organization, they say, okay, you know, we have our marketing automation. So now, now you're saying we should we've got all these other channels we should be using and pushing out. But what kind of messages would we pushing out? How often? To whom? I mean, this is all sounds. Like, oh, you know, I'll just go. I'll just push out emails. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It sounds sounds mess. Yeah. So no, it's it's not as difficult as it might look. Uh, so. You should start as an organization or as a marketer with uh, a first step, start collecting uh, consents uh, for communication through different channels. So basically, when we talk about, uh, currently, when we talk about subscribers list, we have in mind email subscribers list. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a first change that, you know, uh, expand the definition of subscriber, part of email subscribers, uh, Facebook Messenger subscribers text messages, subscribers, like SMS subscribers. So start collecting consents uh, and allow your customers to choose the most preferred channel or two channels. So more channels uh, you have as a marketer, uh, the better communication you can do that. So it's a first thing, like expand the understanding of what uh, what subscriber is. So can I can I just yeah. ask you there, if, yeah, you, sure. if you put, um, in your experience, if you offer these choices, um, you know, to, to consumers, do will they choose? I mean, or will they just, I mean, in your experience, it, or will they opt out of everything? Or will they go, oh, this is good. Now I can choose my preferred uh, communication method. It really depends on, on the context. So let's say uh, that's majority of our customers are e-commerce stores, online stores, mm -hmm. those who do have an online transaction. Uh, so yeah, so the, the, the vast majority of data uh, I'm sharing is based on, on that kind of businesses. So, mm, so yeah, so let's say this is a checkout. So traditionally in the checkout, uh, the, you, the customer is being asked to leave their phone number and email address. So having like two consent checkboxes that, okay, should, should you give us a consent to communicate via text messages or should you give us a consent to communicate via email? So this is a good context. Let's say for a messenger, for more um, communication, um, like messenger kind of types, it's very good to put in a product page. It's, let's say, let's say it's a, out of stock product. So which, would you like to be updated when uh, it's back on mm -hmm. stock? Uh, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp. So it's kind of, you know, it's not that 
directly uh, promotional stuff. Uh, it's mm-hmm. it's more kind of, uh, you know, we're going to send you updates. We're going to remind you about our brand at the same time, but we will not be pushing you to buy what you are not willing to buy. Right. So uh, so it's, it's, it's all about the context. Usually you should not be listing like, all of those in in one list as yeah, mm-hmm. people will not be uh choosing all of those different channels but like contextually it, it, it might be very effective and that's how you collect and let's say john is 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 browsing our store of a product which is out of stock he leaves a consent to communicate via facebook messenger then uh, when john is back because we inform him that uh, that we we have restocked and he's completing a purchase then we are asking for consent to communicate via email and text messages right so yeah. the i guess the important thing though is that uh, because i've i've just seen this in the past is uh you know you fill out a form and it says how do you want to be communicated with and you know there's there's phone and email whatever and you select one but they still call you you know you select <laughs> one that wasn't the phone and they still call you so i guess part of it yeah. is is you have to really honor the the self-selection right yeah, completely agree. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's not about the challenge channel itself. It's about following uh, the good and the best practices. Mm. And right. when, when, you know, people ask me, so w- what is the content is the best performing content? So yeah. I always answer the one which you have promised to deliver. Right. If you, yeah. So the same with channels. I mean, if you promised that we're gonna, you, if you asked for consent, but you are abusing it, so definitely you will not create a good experience of, mm-hmm. of your brand. Uh, the same with content. If you promise to uh, send updates one per week, once per week uh, of new arrivals, you should be sending updates with new arrivals. If you promise to do a daily campaigns with uh, discounts, like discounted uh, products for that day, you should be doing d- daily campaigns, and it's perfectly fine to to have a huge load of emails coming from your business to, to the cons- consumer. So, yeah. So you sh- basically. You give a promise and keep this promise. That's that's a golden rule here, I would say. Yeah. So, what's one, so one of the other challenges that a lot of people are facing into now is, especially with email marketing, is that your spam filters have become more and more aggressive, if you like. The, the, the bar has been raised so high that even it's hard even to get legitimate email through sometimes. Um, yeah. So, what, uh, so how do, what advice do you have for, for email marketers who are bumping mm-hmm. up against this issue where they're ending up on blacklists when they shouldn't really? They're, they're, their messages, when, even when they've consented to, are ending up in spam folders. Uh, so basically the, 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 uh, the main advice would be automate, automate your marketing, both like, uh, sending emails, uh, sending other channel messages, uh, put them on, on the single flow. I mean, st- don't start bombarding your customers. I mean, sure. if, if, uh, John gave us a constant communicate via email and via text message and via Facebook messenger, put them on the one flow. And let's say the flow is browse abundant. Uh, you have identified mm-hmm. that John is interesting in buying a new phone uh, of that brand, let's say brand A. So instead of start simultaneously campaigning him through different channels, like do it one by one. Start mm-hmm. an email campaign first. If you, it's being back. And if I would say this is a, a first thing, and uh, a second advice is really uh, kind of run more and more uh, trigger based automated campaigns instead of just sending bulk campaigns uh, to everyone, uh, just pick a trigger based that gonna, you're going to achieve two things. One, you're going to decrease your email load. Mm-hmm. which is already a, a good sign for spam filters and for sure. uh, inboxes. And the second thing you're going to, you're going to achieve is uh, the relevancy. So more people going to open your emails and it's again, a very good sign for uh, email service providers mm-hmm. and inboxes. Yeah. So those two combined will increase your reputation and you're going to have uh, lower probability to end up in, in spam folders. 
So when you work with the, when you work with clients and that, um, how do you go about designing these omni-channel campaigns or omni-channel strategies? Um, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, how do you how do you advise people how to mm-hmm. um, what is the right flows to do, which parts to put together? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh... So, so basically, you can combine all those different channels in 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 a, in a scenario, especially like on t- trigger based automated mm-hmm. campaigns. So, uh, some of the channels we perform like SMS messages, they very very uh, perform very well for uh, more transactional based. Let's say sure. order follow up. Uh, uh, we have we have received the order. Shoot an X message. We have dispatched your parcel. Uh, it should be arriving to today, tomorrow, in one week, etc. Uh, did did you like our product? So those are very very kind of effective. They have huge open rates and uh, they they have a huge reach. Uh, and uh, and the customers really deeply engage with those messages. So again, it's it's another thing is like understanding of of uh, marketing. Uh, then when you change this a little bit, it's all about brand and positioning your brand. Those messages does not sell anything directly, but it creates a brand awareness. It creates the feeling that you are really uh, you really care about about your customer. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes on top you can add some like really more promotional messages. So let's say so we have uh, we have dispatch a parcel, and by by the way there is a X percent discount for for an X purchase in in one month. Right. So kind of a transactional message with a bit of promotional spice on on top. Yeah. So, so it's what, kind of yeah. SMS is very effective there. So more more like promotional messages. Email is still very effective. Messengers, as I said, is for for as well as push notifications work really well for different. Reminders where where mm-hmm. people say okay out of stock reminder uh, price go down uh, notification or new arrivals notification there are some people who are let's say fans of your brand and they are trying to get the, the newest the newest you you you, you provide uh, yeah so so it sounds to me that uh, yeah organizations need to do a good exercise in looking at the various channels that are available to them and then looking at which ones are appropriate for different things just like you said you know maybe it's you know updates through me- messenger maybe it's alerts through sms maybe it's promotional through email but really sort of looking to fit the right channel to the right kind of message yeah that's that's correct that's correct it's it's yeah one thing and a second thing combining those different channels on on the same flow so mm-hmm. let's say like the most popular by far let's say abundant card reminder uh automation by by all the businesses globally like e-commerce businesses let's say those who have online transactions so uh you 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 should combine different channels on, on the single flow. Start with email, which is the most cost-effective, uh, which uh, probably you have uh, the largest database. So uh, yeah, so start with email, follow up with web push notification, with uh, uh, Facebook Messenger, with WhatsApp, and uh, use SMS. As this is still kind of the most expensive, although it has a great ROI on it. So yeah, combine those channels, and you know. Uh, regarding our, yeah, so we, we kind of made some, some analysis of how do our customers use those, those different channels. And mm-hmm. we, we, we saw like significant increase in, in customer retention. If you use uh, free and more channels on, on, for your automation and for automation, automated communicated communication. So yeah, the difference is basically around like 90% increase in customer retention. So adding more channels on that flow almost doubles your chance to get the customer back to your website. So it's you know uh, a huge a huge win for a marketing specialist. Wow, well that's that's fantastic. Um, listen, this has been uh, incredibly insightful, uh, Rivas. Um, we're bumping up against the end of our time here. But before we go, please tell everybody a little bit more about yourself and your company and how they can learn more about OmniSend. Yeah, so OmniSend is marketing automation uh, solution, omnichannel marketing automation solution. Yeah, mm-hmm. so uh, we strongly believe in in what we preach. That uh, um, yeah, so we do have emails, we do have text messages, uh, web push notifications, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, 
as well as synchronization with your Google and, and, and Facebook ads to create uh, lookalike audiences to, to create better targeted retargeting campaigns. Yeah, we basically serve uh, mid-size, uh, small to medium-size uh, online stores. So, uh, so if if you sell anything online, so we really can help to 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 better to run retention marketing and to increase uh, the customer lifetime value. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, where, where, where can you find so omnisend.com probably this is the best source. Omnisend.com. Well, listen, thanks, Rita. It's our first guest from Lithuania. Uh, you're okay. in the capital, Vilnius, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, thanks, uh, John, for hosting me. All right, my name is John Golden, Sales Pop, Online Sales Mag- Magazine, and Pipeliner CRM. Uh, see you all for another expert interview really soon. Thank you.